So what is quantitative easing exactly, right? And what's the mechanism? How, how does it work? And how does it get money into the economy? Well, so glad that you asked. Uh, well, to, under, to answer that question, we have to go back and understand why it was originally created. So if you go back to 2008, and I'm reading from page 125 in Chasing the Invisible Bid. And in 2008, right, global markets experienced just a huge shock. Um, and in response, central banks started slashing interest rates to near zero or the lower bound to help stimulate the economy. But in many economies, that just simply wasn't enough. Despite zero interest rates, growth remained sluggish, and there was a serious concern or risk that, you know, we might turn into Japan and there might be deflation. And so traditional monetary policy, cutting interest rates, raising interest rates had reached its limits. And so quantitative easing became the solution. Um, now, what is quantitative easing? Well, it's purchasing a large amount from a central bank, purchasing a large amount of, of financial assets, things like government bonds, corporate bonds, mortgage-backed securities, and sometimes even equities or ETFs. Now, here's a simple breakdown of how the process works. Let me just flip the page. Um, so the central bank creates new electronic money, often referred to informally as printing money. And even though nothing physically is actually printed, right? So the, the new money did not previously exist, but it's digitally generated. Then the central bank uses these newly, this newly created money to buy financial assets from private sector institutions. When these assets are purchased, the sellers receive payment that's credited to the reserve accounts at the central bank. So these inflows boost the reserve of smaller commercial banks, which in theory makes them more willing and able to lend to businesses and consumers, stimulating borrowing, investment, and consumption. So essentially, central bank creates a bunch of digital money, right? Not physical money. It doesn't go out anywhere. Nobody's handed cash. And then they give that money to more local commercial banks. And then in theory, the idea is, okay, those commercial banks will now be more willing to lend. They've got more reserves, more reason to lend. They can make some money. So they should help be the distributors as it would, you know, as it will push it, push out to the economy. So that's in theory how a part of quantitative easing um, should work. If you're interested in the rest, we have a chapter on it, not to mention um, many other chapters to help you understand fundamental analysis and macro fundamental analysis. Just pick up a copy, financialsource.co, and uh, get, a, get a copy shipped to your house today.